Oh, hello. I'm alive. He do be breathing though. So today I thought it'd be fun to follow in the homie Terrence the Tractor 525's footsteps and kind of do a special sort of showcasing video. Normally when I do the weekly kipper, it's for stuff that I've received in the mail, but since Christmas was only a few weeks ago, I think it'd be cool to take a look at all the stuff I received for that. And of course, not just all model stuff, we do have some other little knickknacks that we'll be taking a look at as well. I'm actually wearing one of my presents as we speak, this wonderful LBSC Thomas hoodie that comes from the Little Western. You know, this railway stand dripped the f out. I'm really bad at intros, so with all of that being said, all right, everybody, welcome back to the cutting board. So before we get into everything, I figure we should start with something that's not really a train or a model, but is going to uh, help with future trains and models. This comes straight from the homie Bulldog 95. We have a Gundam or just model builder kit. This thing comes with everything. There's an X-Acto, extra blades, there's pliers, there's files. Everything you need to make a model is inside of this little kit. As I've used it, I've thrown in some like Sharpie pins for whenever I need to draw eyebrows on faces or glue, just whatever I really need. And whenever I'm out and about, I pack this up, whatever train I'm working on, and I can work on it literally anywhere. So huge thank you and shout out to him for this. Literally any model you see worked on will probably have been worked on with something from this. All right, and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start getting into the trains. Now, this first bit is gonna take me a second to set up, so I'll be right back. All right, yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot of stuff on the uh, on the board right now. So everything you're seeing here again comes from the little western. For Christmas, Westy literally sent me a Thomas and Friends care package. I told him that I was really getting into Ertl recently, and he decided to um really make sure that addiction uh, sticks. So huge thank you to him, and let's go ahead and take a look at everything that he sent to me. So first up, we have Donald and Douglas, both of their Ertl models, and I have to say, after finally getting to own these and take a look at them. These may be my favorite Ertl models. I love their faces, I love the design of them, it's just, it's just so cool to actually see these two and now own them. It's a little random, but I miss when the toys were actually made of die cast and heavy like this. This really brings me back. Now, this technically wasn't a Christmas present, but the first Ertl Thomas I ever got, which was given to me by a one trim band, I also decided to include here since it, uh, I don't know, it might as well be a Christmas present. At Edison, he found it and gave it to me, and this is probably one of my favorite Thomases in my collection just for that reason alone. This one will always have a special place in my heart, so I'll sit him next to Donald and Douglas here. Now, I know I just said Donald and Douglas are my favorites, but I don't know, this guy is at least a close second. This is the paper-faced um, Vintage James, which still has his paper face in a very nice condition. And I have to say, what a banger for my first one. This one is... It's just so cool to have this. It's it's such a piece of history. I feel like Ertl's are the one time I could look at a paper face and be like, no, nah, that, that's that's worth it. That's cool. And to see it and now own it on a James model is just, it's just super fun. So I'll sit him next to these three. Next, let's go ahead and get into one that really took me by surprise. We also have an Ertl Daisy. I don't really have to say it. You can probably assume I never owned one of these as a kid. So to see it now and actually be able to hold it and take a look at it, this is awesome. One thing that I really like about Ertl is they would manage to get so much detail on all of their engines, and Daisy is no exception. There's a look at her face, she has all of her makeup, there's a little bit of damage on the top and, you know, areas around her, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's honestly just as cool knowing somebody had their fun with it before me. Oh my gosh, she even has lamps on the back. That is my first time noticing that, and that is, that's super cool. This is just all around a phenomenal model, so let's go ahead and add her to the lineup. We also got some rolling stock. We have Annie here and a whole bunch, a whole bunch of tankers. I don't even think these are, yeah, hold on. I don't think these are not all of them. Yep, I forgot. We also have two tar tankers. So we have two tar tankers, one Sodor fuel tanker, and two Tidmouth milk tankers, as well as a Annie to go along with it. Now, tankers are probably some of my favorite pieces of rolling stock, so to have so many of these is absolutely insane. I could make an entire consist of literally nothing but these, and that is something that I just find so cool. Here's a better look at the Sodor Fuel one. I really like this one because it features a sort of weathering to the bottom of it, which is super unique for the uh, Ertl range. And here's a look at the last two. These are super awesome. I almost forgot, we also have a Sodor mail van, which is super cool. I'll have to get a Percy to uh, pair this up with. And the last Ertl item in this roundup is the breakdown train, which is, again, something I was really not expecting. This thing is magnificent. It features these little things that come off the side here. I believe there's supposed to be one on this side too, but uh, mine does not feature it that sort of come off to the side and would stabilize the crane as it was being used. That is a super cool feature. It also comes with the uh, flatbed molded to the crane itself, which is a little strange, but also kind of cool to see it all as a 
one big mold, I suppose. Now, as I'm sure you can see, we don't just have uh, Ertl stuff, we also have some Take and Play and Take Along stuff. Here we have the Take and Play Hugo, and we also have a Take and Play Philip, which is, uh, as you can see here, is in parts at the moment, as I'd like to find a way to motorize him if I can. And these are two bits that I never really expected to own. Now that I can actually take a look at Hugo, I have to say this is probably one of the cooler toys that Take and Play actually released, or Take Along, whatever. And to now finally have a Philip that I can potentially motorize and put alongside the HO or OO guys is just super cool. So huge shout out and thank you to Westy for that bit. Oh, there's also a take along skiff how could i forget there's uh this guy too and if it's at all possible i'd like to uh, motorize him as well and maybe put him on a uh ho chassis so all together we have um three little take along models to add on to that and the last thing which is super interesting and something that even now is just so whoa is this vintage thomas and friends uh soap dispenser i actually still don't really know uh how exactly this would work i think this part here unscrews and you would then put the soap into there and it just pours out into your hand. I, I, I really don't know. But honestly, either way, this is just super cool and super unique to have. And who knows, I might end up putting this on a display or something one day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up the uh, little lot that I got from a uh, Westy. So let's go ahead and move these back over to their shelf. Now, before we get into the actual models, there are two more little toys that I'd like to uh, show to you guys. As I'm sure you guys saw in one of my recent videos, I kind of became obsessed with the Takara Tomy line, and, um, well, we finally got a James for it. This, I believe, is their newest release of James that comes with this little flat car here on the back. Let's see, go ahead and pop them out of here. Here is the uh, James, which is honestly just super adorable. I love this so much. And here is his little flat car. Now, this piece actually comes off and you can put smaller vehicle yeah james would definitely not fit but if i had a say thomas out or something he would fit onto this or i would leave this on there and one of the engines would pull it around and honestly just the detail they managed to put on both of these is just so breathtaking like i said these honestly may be better than capsules at least in my opinion and now that i finally have a james my favorite character it honestly feels kind of complete and i finally got my first bit of a rolling stock to go with them too but we don't just have James to take a look at. We also got the newest release of Thomas. This is the uh, snow version, I believe. And let's go ahead and take a look at him. I get him out of here. Oh, there he is. All righty, and here's a look at the snow Thomas. This one is super, super unique to me. It has a gray roof, a gray smoke box. At first it was kind of weird, but honestly, it's something I kind of like. It complements the uh, snow detailing on the side very well. He also has silver buffers, a very accurate face. Yeah, all around this is, this is a super cool model. Believe it or not, I actually accidentally got a um, second one too. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. I might just end up leaving it um, in the package and just never do anything to it. Or who knows, maybe one day I'll go crazy and uh, want to modify it. But um, at the moment, I have two of these guys, one that's still in the box and um, one that, as you can see, I've kind of already taken out and um, played with a little bit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've talked about all of that, let's go ahead and get into the models. Alrighty, now the first model we have to take a look at is the Bachman Spiteful Brake Fan, which uh, came from my fiance. As I'm sure you can tell, I've went ahead and modified this guy a little bit already. I painted his floors a nice tan brown and it's kind of hard to see on camera, but gave his windows a... Uh, nice little glaze on the inside so they're actually windows it might modify this guy a little bit more but um honestly it's just cool to have a normalish brake van um now on the rails it also paid off a lot to give him a little bit of weight he actually kind of works like a uh, brake van should now but aside from that we also got the hornby olton hall the harry potter hogwarts castle version now i know a lot of people don't like this engine and i hear you i hear you i'm gonna let you finish but beyonce had the best music video of all time no, realistically, I understand why people don't like this engine, but I have to say I disagree. I really enjoy the red livery, the fact this thing has a headlight. Altogether, this model is just phenomenal. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the packaging again for this one. I might just go ahead and throw up some uh, footage of him, but here is a closer look at this guy. This model has way more detail than I actually expected. And believe it or not, the uh, headlight on the front of it is honestly one of the brightest I think I've ever seen. You guys don't know this, but um, recently I tried to buy the uh, Bachman Hogwarts Castle and it came so broken, it's not even funny. So to finally have one that actually works and looks this amazing is super cool. I know a lot of rail fans don't like what happened to Olton Hall, but you have to admit th this model is pretty cool.
at least in my opinion. So expect a review and a closer look on this guy uh, soon. But that is not the only model we have to take a look at. Quite possibly my favorite of the model haul, not my favorite model, I'm not folding yet, that's still the C1 Henry, is the Bachmann LBSCR H1. Now, this model is... <sighs> What can you say? This model is just phenomenal. Since I didn't pull the Hogwarts castle out of its box, I'm not gonna pull this one out, but uh, I will put up some footage of him on screen. Now, this has to be one of the most beautiful models I've ever seen, let alone owned. Let's get him out of this, you guys can get a better look. The detail on this guy is just off the charts. As you can kind of see on the front here, I went ahead and added his detail pack and got rid of his hook and loops and changed those for three links. But altogether, just the livery, the detail this thing has, just everything about it is just so perfect. I know I just posted a short about this, but th there's just something about Atlantics. Like, don't you agree, Lance, editing this video? No, I'm not gonna lie, that's that, that's a beautiful model right there. Thank you, I'm happy we could agree on that. So really, altogether, this model is definitely one of my favorites. I'm not gonna call it my favorite just yet, but it's definitely up there. And you guys can definitely expect a closer look at this guy coming soon. This isn't a model I plan to really modify or throw a face on or anything like that. It's just one that I really appreciate to have in my collection. So let's go ahead and get him packaged back up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the Christmas Kipper. Now, I did get some other stuff that wasn't train related, but uh, you guys don't care about that. But altogether, that has been everything I got for Christmas that was um train related. Thank you again to everyone who helped give me one of the best Christmases I think I've ever had. And hopefully you guys at home have had a safe and healthy Christmas as well. I know the world's been a little crazy recently for everybody, but hopefully you were able to find a little bit of peace during Christmas time. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. And let me know if there's anything in this video that you guys saw that I should do a closer video on. I'd be super excited to take a closer look at these guys or the Ertles or the Olten Hall, literally whatever you guys would like to see. When it comes to this one though, you don't really have a choice. You're, you're gonna see a video on him regardless. I just want to.